Hi everyone, it's Gina. I was just gonna show you some of the distinctions between the seedlings as they grow, if you were interested, or if you, this year, you were just starting out putting seedlings in and you don't know what they're, uh, what to expect as they grow. I'll show you a few that I've started. The Bells of Ireland, these have the little tufts in them, if you can tell, really cute little seedlings. The Cleome, as it grows, it, it's got the two leaves, but as it grows, it'll form four. It grows four leaves on there. The Dianthesis, this is the uh, the Chabrod La France, the pink carnation looking one, and they're very leggy, tall and leggy. They'll start out. Here's one that's not quite as, as far along. But they'll, they'll grow like that and they'll even bloom. Um, they'll even keep that long, leggy, twisted look to them. The Delphiniums, of course, are just as cute as can be. They kind of look like a little lucky charm and the leaves will stay round like that as they grow. And they have two parts to them. And then they've got the, the little leaves will form at the bottom. And then they've got this one leaf in the middle. So cute, the Delphiniums. And these are red dianthuses, totally a different leaf. A uh, different uh, uh, breed of, uh, of flower. And um, it'll also bloom totally different. The salvia, it's got corrugated leaves on it. A real pretty, real pretty uh, perennial. And of course the ornamental kale, look at that. That's just a frilly, frilly little thing. Grows really easy, comes up real easy, germinates very well. Here is a delphinium just starting to come up and that's a good picture of it. If you're wondering, if you're growing that. And um, the stalk, the stalk just comes up as such, just a nice little leaf on it. Uh, real easy to germinate also. And I also grow um, in this red solo cups and I put holes in the bottom for drainage, about four holes. And um, that way they can stay in these pots for a very long time, or these cups for a very long time. And, um, in, if, and if you're growing kale, this is the, um, the kale scarlet. That's what some of the seedlings look like. And I've got them planted out here in my bed already. And I've got a few more over here. So if you're wondering what they look like, the kale scarlet. My anemones, and they've really grown. They're getting tall. And they're tucked, a, tucked in there with some of my winter grass, winter, um, uh, covering there and here is another anemone and there's some more just peeking up through the ground and this is a real small one coming up I hope you can see that and um, again here's another anemone coming up so you got to be real careful you got to know what uh, they look like but anyway if you've got anemones and ranunculus and peonies in those are what they look like coming up. And here are some sweet peas that I overwintered. They look pretty rough, but they are making it. They've made it through uh, several 24 degrees and below that. And that's kind of what they look like as seedlings coming up. And I'll span out a little bit so you can kind of see. Um, this is a box, my, one of my above ground boxes that I'm showing here with my seedlings emerging. And uh, I've got some peonies coming up. There's one, quite tall. And there's an anemone right there that I have beside it. This whole bed is planted. Uh, many ranunculus right there coming up. Another peony with a ranunculus tucked in. Another ranunculus there some more ranunculus along there and some uh, here is a, a ranunculus and then an anemone and they're really growing well and it's cold some more anemones there and a ranunculus just to give you an idea of what they look like and over here I did just put some forget-me-nots out and they do not look good so uh, this is probably a mistake I made and they don't look well they look like they uh, the freeze did not, it didn't freeze, but it did get cold. 
So they were not old enough to be put out yet. So you can't even get a good look at what they look like. Um, here's a group over here. Let's see if I can tell. These are forget-me-nots. And see, they must have been a little bit older. And um, I put them out too early, and I think I'll probably lose those. We'll just see. You know, you never know about Mother Nature. But this is one of the boxes. And these are the three boxes that I'm showing you right now gives you an idea these boxes are really planted up um, I have them pretty full sorry about the traffic it's it's pretty early in the morning everybody's headed to work I guess here um, but the boxes are filled with anemones ranunculus peonies um, and uh, some tulips some sweet peas some really beautiful spring flowers. And these are the uh, apple blossom snapdragons that I seeded in, inside under my grow light back in December. And I just put these out just a few days ago. And this is the above ground box outside in the, the new fenced area uh, that you saw in that other video. It gives you an idea of that. And this whole box here is full of 300 um, beautiful tulips, double tulips and some others. But this is a snapdragon. And I think that the, the, uh, the white or the, uh, the light green in the leaves is, um, it could be a lack of uh, calcium. I've never grown snapdragons from seeds, so I'm not sure if that's normal or not. And, uh, but they've taken, they've been out here for about five nights and they're not dead. So that's a good sign maybe, but that's a snapdragon. Okay, and then over here, I'm in my uh, backyard in the peony area. And I have noticed back here, not to change the subject, but I have noticed some digging uh, back here. So I'm thinking an armadillo has found the back area here. I hope they don't dig it up too bad. So along the this south wall here, uh, and I also did a video on these plantings here. That is a snapdragon, if you're growing snapdragons. Um, and these here, this one, this one, and the other greens, those are calendula, if you're growing calendula. And they have overwintered well, and I have put some in just recently in the last week, and they look great. So I believe I've got that licked. And these are iris growing. They've been in the ground for a while. Uh, and then I've got peonies all in these, in these beds. There's some of them coming up there. These are all Sarah Bernhardt's back here. And anyway, I was just gonna show you those seedlings. If you're growing calendula and snapdragons. And then over here I have put in, this is ornamental kale. The other one was uh, scarlet. This is ornamental, and I put several in, and I have them a good two feet apart uh, because I don't know if they were gonna survive or not. But this is the other, the other bed that I had, had built, and those are ornamental kale, and really cute and ruffly. Very distinctive leaf on them. Hi, Chloe. Hi. You're purring. And I did have some sweet peas in here um, very, very close call on that. We'll see if it survives. The other one did not. The other one is, did not make it. So some make it, some don't. And I will put some more in and keep it going. But anyway, there's a few more seedlings and what they look like coming and up. These two here are actually bachelor buttons that I started at the end of November inside under a grow light. And I just transferred them out here about a week ago. I did not acclimate them outside uh, to the cold weather. I just put them in and hoped for the best. And they are thriving. They are actually, uh, they have doubled in size. And those are the bachelor buttons. So I am actually seeding more inside to get them. Here's another look at the ranunculus that I have in the ground. 
And these I put in the ground in November. And that's kind of an overview of those. Let me span out a little bit so you can kind of see. Really nice plants. They came along really good. I cannot wait until spring to see these bloom up. I also have, I believe there's eight uh, peony plants planted in there also. And they're the Shirley Temples. And I've had those in the ground for four years. So it ought to be really beautiful right here when they all bloom up. Anyway, so another look at a little bit older ranunculus if you're growing those. And if you have any questions on that, just let me know. Uh, comment if you would. Leave a comment. I would love to hear from you what you're growing, uh, what your uh, experiences are. Um, and uh, like and share. I would really appreciate it, and uh, y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.